it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I am here to do a bonus reading for Cancer. This is for Cancer Sun Moon Rising in Venus and this is for October. You're on the list because you got over 5,000 views on the monthly. So uh, yeah, so I've decided I'm going to do bonus readings for everybody that go, got over 5,000 on my monthly, my October monthly reading. So here we go. Thank you for watching. Thank you for being here. What do we have for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for October? I'm going to put these wherever I feel the need, past, present, and future. Okay, we have two. Came flying out. Let's get a future card. Very good. Let's get a past card. Let's get a future card. A right now card present and future okay so cancer cancer it appears to me that right now you may be feeling maybe in your feelings Either you're withholding your feelings or you're sad, you may be crying, you may be emotional, um, you may be withdrawing from something emotionally. Um, there could be some sadness, there could be a loss. That's right now, right now. You may be feeling um, overly emotional. This is a flood of emotion, right? It's emotions all over the place. In the past, I think you've been very confident, you've been driven, you've been um, very proud. I think that you've... Uh, let go of some things that you don't want to be committed to. You've probably given some things up. You maybe have been focusing on your health, focusing on your looks, focusing on your desires. I think that you are not interested in investing in anything that isn't, uh, that you're not passionate about, put it that way, that doesn't fulfill you, that doesn't excite you, right? I think that you found a lot of confidence. I think that you have built up a lot of inner strength. And I think that um, you're maybe not really focused on any type of any other commitment. Maybe not even on your work. You're focused on yourself. You're focused on getting your needs met. Taking care of yourself. And I feel like... Um, Maybe you've been in some sort of situation that didn't flourish. Maybe you are in it. Maybe you've. You, it's not growing now. I don't know. But uh, Seven of Pentacles reverse is a dead end, right? It's uh, too late. It's too late. Okay. I think that you uh, may have had some short-lived success with something. It could be even a person. Maybe it's a fire sign. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Could also be a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Um, for some of you, I think that you are not putting in any more effort into something that is not solid, stable, secure, real, or boring to you. It's like you're looking for something more exciting. I think you're focusing on your desires. I think that you are strong and determined. And if you're not interested in it, if it if it's not going to bring you any type of reward or if it's only if there's no commitment or anything a solid that comes with it, you're just like, I'm not interested. I'm not interested. So I think that you are in a place where, you know, you have gained a lot of self-confidence. I think you have a lot to be proud of. And I think that... Um, You've decided that you are not giving your time or energy to things that don't suit your goals. Um, I think that you 
there's some sort of sadness here. I can't pretend that there's not, and I don't think you can either. And it would be unrealistic to say that life was perfect because that's not real. And the middle of this is the Ace of Cups reversed. That is sadness. It's heartbroken. It's um, emotional loss of, of some sort. So right now, right now, you, I mean, you're strong. You've gained a lot of inner strength, but right now you may be feeling sad or closed off or something like that. I think that this, again, is about your desires. I think that you may be bound to something or tied to something that may be lust, not love. Lust, not love. And, uh, you know, that's not what you want. That's not what you want. I think that you maybe some of you have been in a commitment that is just lust. And I think that you're, it's just lust. It's not love. Okay, this is a commitment. This is like a commitment, right? And it, it's, but it's not interested in it. So it's, for some of you, you've been in a commitment that is, uh, it's a codependency. It's lust. It's uh, some sort of bond that is toxic. It's a toxic bond. It's an addiction. It's a bad habit. It's an obsession. It's not love. It's not love. So right now, I think that you're at a turning point in your life. I think that you are at a crossroads where you're ready to step into new territory. You're ready to leave something behind. You may be still a little indecisive. I think you're looking at your desires. I think that you're really, this is about desires and needs, you know, and, and for some of you, you know, you really need to think about is this lust or love because Ace of Wands is a very lusty energy, okay? We have a lot of lust here. Is it real? Is it solid? Is it practical? Is it really love? Is it love or is it lust? I think that's a big question you need to ask yourself. Um, for some of you, I think that you have a strong desire to... Um, have something have anything there's a codependency here it's like i really want something i really really want something so i think that you may be taking approaches that don't really lead to long-term commitment and i'm and i don't know maybe you're not looking for that i don't know there's something about i don't want it if it's not real but you're not i don't think you're really investing in a long-term commitment either so that's interesting there's no investment here there's no long-term potential this is like a dead end i think you're 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 strong and you're determined but you're sad at the same time so it's interesting um making a decision right now about some sort of bond or codependency that you are engaged with whether this is drugs alcohol another person all of the above I feel like you're questioning things I feel like you found some sort of self-confidence I think that you're stronger than you probably ever have been before you see that someone is not wanting a commitment whether it's you or them there's somebody in this reading that does not want a long-term commitment or they're not really committing they're not really committing they're not really interested they may be interested in the sex whether it's you or them this is like a um, Well, it's, it's not love, put it that way. It's more of a lust situation. It's a codependency. It's a need. It's getting needs fulfilled without commitment. It could be sex without love, put it that way. Um, I think that you're, and, and for some of you, it's not sex. It's doing something that you don't love okay but there's no long-term plan here this is a dead end there's this is a dead end so i think that you're at this point right now where you're ready to go in a new direction but i think that it hurts it hurts especially when you've bound yourself to something that you know is so attractive to you it fulfills your needs it makes you feel good okay but it's very toxic at the same time so it's interesting so I think that you're at this point where you're about to make a decision I think it's a decision about some sort of addiction obsession or bond that is emotionally draining you it's causing an emptiness it's and it's going to be hard to get out of because 
you're really attached to whatever this is and now this could literally be drinking it could be alcohol it could be drugs or it could be that obsession infatuation with another person okay but there is definitely somebody here that is not interested in commitment they're not interested in anything long term and they have a strong desire just to get their needs met I think in the future it feels like you are turning your back on something that you have put in effort into. I think that you're going to be giving it up. It's like I'm not going to do this anymore. I think that you will be turning your back on something. This is literally uh, like not putting in effort, not trying hard enough. So maybe actually quitting okay this could be quitting a job quitting a partnership quitting a relationship um the the hierophant reversed can be a disgrace it can be somebody that um takes an unconventional re approach even to relationships wants an unconventional relationship this could be somebody that like wants an open relationship you know what i mean or doesn't really want to commit so there's and there is somebody here that um is not doing the right thing or has a hard time and is questioning their power and is questioning their authority this person um is under a lot of pressure to well it's social pressure they may even have something to do with social media here we may have somebody who doesn't want to give up their social media or they don't want to commit because of social media uh, and i don't know where that's coming from anyhow the star is a card of wish fulfillment hopes and dreams and a time of inspiration and alignment and renewal okay so i feel like in the future i feel like you are about to receive some sort of blessing but i'm going to be completely honest with you and for some of you won't like this rejection is god's protection and whether you're the one doing the rejecting or they are you got to look at it from both sides okay look at it from both sides i think that in the future we have a healing energy we have a renewal energy we have um divine intervention here as well this is healing from a toxic bond with somebody that is not committed i feel and, and whether it's somebody or something i think that um there's a need for faith, there's a need to believe, and there's a need to believe and listen to yourself. For some of you, you've also been listening to poor counsel about something that you are obsessed over. Okay, there's an obsession here. This is infatuation, it is lust, it is greed. This is poor counsel, not listening to your intuition. It's time to focus in a new direction. Stop wasting your time on something that is not working out. Now, this could be job-related, any type of partnership, okay? Um, now, this is heaven. It's heaven sent, but this is hell. You have heaven and hell here. You definitely have heaven and hell here. And this is a choice. Twos are choices. I think in the future you are going to be quitting or giving up on something that you can't control. It's like you can't control this because of this hero font reversed. This is a relationship that's not on the same page. There's somebody here that is questioning their authority. This could be the end of a marriage. It could be a funeral. There's sadness here. There's emotional loss. This is toxic and unhealthy. This is not love. There's no long-term commitment. There's something about beliefs as well.
Anyhow, Cancer, I think that, you know, maybe I feel, I mean, the star is a card of protection. It's also a card of wish fulfillment. So I feel like you may have a new purpose. You may, you may get some sort of, uh, relief. Remember the, the tower or the tower, the star comes after the tower. So there could be an event that happens that actually breaks you free and it's a blessing in disguise because now you can just be yourself now you can heal now you can um fulfill your purpose whatever your purpose is this is a toxic bond that is not love, that you don't love. This is quitting, giving up on something. This is a disgrace. There's been too many rules <coughs> and restrictions from somebody in a position of authority. This person has abused their power. They've abused their position. And there is poor counsel. This is an obsession. And it's time to heal. We have quitting something. Quitting could be quitting drinking. Quitting on something that is toxic. This is something that there could be some unfaithfulness here. Maybe somebody's been unfaithful. That star card is a card of healing and renewal and faith. And it's interesting because this is lack of faith. There's a need to have faith and believe that everything happens for a reason. So this is interesting. Healing from something that is toxic and uh, very unhealthy. And for some of you, maybe you've given up on yourself. Or you had, but I think you've found a lot of confidence. And I think you are... Uh, if somebody here is not looking for a commitment, I guess it could be you, it could be somebody else, but there is some sort of disgrace and it's healing from some sort of disgrace. You know, I don't know what it is, but I would say that there's a toxic bond that is not working out. Somebody is giving up because whoever they're dealing with is probably listening to poor counsel or wanting something open, not committing. There's something here that is unbelievable. There's something I feel that is going away that is going to help you to heal. Good luck.